As moms, we have a lot on our plates. Uh, we're running a household, and we're caring for children, we're working on nurturing uh, important relationships in our lives. We can easily become overwhelmed or feel like we're running on an empty fuel tank. Without some way to renew our focus, life can become a downward spiral. But being a mom shouldn't mean we can't stop and take time to recharge. Um, I know what it's like to run on empty. During the first few years when our children were young, uh, we were wrestling some major health problems and I wasn't really plugged into a church community. Um, and I started feeling really desperate and alone. And this was a low point that God used in my life to help me find the peace and the wisdom and the energy that I needed so badly. Um, sometime before, for various reasons, I'd given up my longtime habit of reading the Bible every morning. Studying the Bible seemed unrealistic when I could hardly get sleep or even go to the bathroom without somebody pounding on the door. I was so physically and emotionally drained I could hardly think straight, let alone read my Bible. Sometimes when we're struggling to spend time in God's Word is when we really need it the most. God used more hard circumstances in my life to drive me back to His Word. And in that process, I discovered that Bible study didn't have to be complicated. I could spend a few minutes each day and just look for one thing or mark a few words, and I would come away with a new perspective on life. And all of a sudden, the Bible came alive to me, and I couldn't wait to read it every morning. That time in the Word, almost every day, is what helped me survive the rigors of motherhood. I was taking something in instead of just giving out all day long. God was feeding me and I had a whole new outlook on the challenges that I was facing each day. My children are adults. Life has changed and I've enjoyed the opportunity to see other young moms get it and discover the same encouragement and fresh perspective that I found with this simple kind of Bible study. So here's what we've been doing. Uh, we spend 30 days in just one chapter in the Bible, and each day I give you one or two steps that take about 5 to 15 minutes for you to do. You have a plan so that when you open up your Bible, you know what you're going to do. And in the 30 days, you've accumulated three to five hours worth of in-depth Bible study, and you've learned some Bible study skills that you can use for the rest of your life. Let me show you three of the new studies we've just finished. 30 days in 1 John 3 reminds us that we're God's beloved children. We don't have to earn our place in God's family. We spend 30 days in Isaiah 53, which has been called the fifth gospel since the early days of the church. This chapter points us to the suffering servant, clearly Jesus, and gives us a deeper appreciation for all that he's done for us. We also spend 30 days in Psalm 103, which begins with, Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me, bless his holy name. As we study this psalm together, we're reminded of how loving and faithful and forgiving God is to us. We also have five other Busy Mamas Bible studies in print, including the child training boot camp that many of you have been doing with us. And click the button below this video or go to doorpost.com slash Bible study to see all our Bible studies and pick one for yourself. You can also watch my next video and learn more about the different ways we study together in the Busy Mama study. Being a busy mom doesn't mean you have to run on empty without taking time to recharge and reconnect with God. This is Bible study that fits your lifestyle. You're also going to find new peace and rest by having that time with God each day.